What's up, guys? It's Nate. And Channing. And we're back. I know it's been it's been a quite a few weeks uh, since we've done a video. Um, there's a reason for that. <laughs> um, I it, it it's kind of a crappy reason, really. Uh, it's sad, but uh, you know, um, with all the uh, spoilers that are supposedly already leaking out there about Scream 6. I had a lot of really exciting stuff that I wanted to do on the channel leading up to the release, but we don't want to be spoiled. So there's a lot of stuff we had planned that we're just not going to do now just until we see the movie. So it sucks, but we can still do videos like this. Um, I had some live videos planned that I wanted to do, but we're just going to, we're sorry. <laughs> like, uh, we're just going to do these videos for now. Um, but we got some cool to show you guys. So <clears throat> thanks to uh, Josh BG, who is a good buddy of mine. He was able to hook me up with three, three of the four um, Cinemark exclusives for Scream 6. Um, still looking for that popcorn bucket. Uh, the theater that he got these at for us was not, they did not get the popcorn buckets. So I'm still looking for a popcorn bucket. I'm sure I'll find one eventually. Uh, but thank you so much. A uh, huge shout out to Josh BG for hooking us up with the other exclusives. So here they are. <clears throat> so here is the Cinemark exclusive Ghostface plush. I'm going to go ahead and open that from the plastic and check it out. Okay. I'm going to find out where you're ripping into it. Anywhere. Don't matter. Just rip right into it. <clears throat> oh, wow. The costume on it already feels really nice. There you it's go. Nice and silky. Pull it out. All right. So there it is. And yeah, he's right. <clears throat> costume is very uh silky very cool i really like it you can kind of adjust the hood it can be really baggy in the back or you can move it forward it looks like if you want um really neat really cute little plushie i like this a lot i like the tag it's got ghost face on there and then on the back it says scream cinemark retail exclusive so yeah these are only available at cinemark theaters and 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 to make it even more difficult um they're only available at some cinemark theaters so they're not available at every theater so if you have a cinemark near you or three or four or five maybe only two maybe only one maybe none maybe none of them get them um, so these are highly, highly, highly sought after and collectible already. They're already going for like ridiculous prices on eBay. So again, cannot shout out enough to Josh BG for hooking us up with these. Um, but yeah, there's the plushie. It's about, eh, I don't know. What would you say? Seven inches, maybe seven mm -hmm. inches tall, maybe six. I think roughly seven. Yeah. Six or seven inches tall. Really cool. I love the look of it. The, the mouth and the eyes are almost like a, like a, obviously it's not real leather, but it's like a pleather. It's just really nice. This is a really awesome collectible. Let's see what else we got here. I think the only thing that's missing is the knife. Yep. So <clears throat> here we have, this is one of the Cinemark exclusive uh, drink cups, Ghostface drink cups. So this is also really awesome. So it's. Let's see if it even says how many ounces it is. It probably doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, what What's funny was when I, when I saw these online, for some reason I pictured them to be really small. Like I pictured them to be like the size of a juice box or something. But they're actually pretty big, you can see. I mean, they're not ginormous, but they would hold a good amount of, of liquid in there. And it looks like you just maybe pop. Yeah, okay. So you just pop the top off right there. And then they would fill it up with your drink or whatever. And you put the top back on. And there's straws that they come with. So there's there's your drink. See? Um, kind of so, works. works like my Lard Lad Donuts uh, cup. Yeah. Put liquid in. 
for sure. And, you know, I'm, I'm wondering, I don't know for sure, maybe some, I've never seen anything about it or written, read, read anything about it, but um, <clears throat> it almost looks like this could double as like a piggy bank and almost that it was intended to, because if you check this out, the slot there on the top, it's almost got like a coin slot with the straw hole in the middle. So you can see the straw, there's really no reason straw wise for that to be there. I mean, it can't go left or right because it's so small. That slit, I'm wondering if that is because you could also double this as a piggy bank, but I'm not sure. But I love the detail on this. As you can see, it's got the sparkle for the costume. Um, and if you look really close, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but the eye mesh, you can, you can actually see it. It's not just um, black. Like most Ghostface merchandise out there, you know, the eyes, it's just straight black. This actually has the detail of the uh, eye mesh from the mask on it, which is really cool. <clears throat> and then we have the third here. And this is, same thing, the Cinemark exclusive ghost face drink cup but this is a variant and this is the one that's even harder to find and what's different about it blood on it yes so this is the blood splattered variant um everything else on it is 100 percent the same um it's just got the blood splatter variant same everything uh but this is really cool and it's really cool that they did a variant um a lot of times, you know, when you see merchandise like this, especially like that's for like movie theaters and stuff, you don't really see a lot of variants. So that's really cool that they did a variant, a blood splattered variant. So there it is. So we got both exclusive Cinemark drink cups, which are really cool. And we've got the plushie, which I love. I don't know. I'm probably going to have to keep it away from Channing because he'll probably try to take it for his little plushy collection. And I'll definitely be drinking out of this when this one when we see the movie. Yeah. So this is really, really, really cool. Um and like I said, there is a popcorn tub that um unfortunately we weren't able to get yet, but we are still hunting it down. So hopefully we will find it. So that's that. Now we have one more thing to show you guys that's really cool. Just a little added bonus here. Um so as most of you know Probably all of you know, uh, Scream 6 features a new version of the ghost face mask. It's being referred to as the aged mask. Um, I believe it's actually supposed to be Billy's mask from the original movie, just older and aged. And, you know, we've talked about this before. Um, but I, <coughs> excuse me, I kind of wanted to um, take a stab, no pun intended, at uh, painting my own version of it. Um, I, I was able to confirm that the masks for the, uh, the age mask for Scream 6, they were, um, 25th anniversary masks, uh, the second run, they were second run 25th anniversary masks that were reshrouded and they were, uh, hand painted by production and there were several of them done. Now I've personally never done anything like that. I don't consider myself good at anything like painting or art or anything like that never never really been my my jam um but i just kind of decided hey i've got a bunch of 25th anniversary second run masks that have the you know the dreaded blue dots forming on them I decided to take uh take a stab at it myself um and like i said i've never been <laughs> artistic like that i really had no idea what i'm doing what i was doing the entire time um, I got to throw a shout out before we show you guys the mask to, uh, Drown Boy Productions, Douglas over at Drown Boy Productions. Um, he gave me some helpful tips and pointers and kind of explained like maybe what kind of stuff I would need to use and whatnot. Um, so I just went off some high resolution stills from the trailer and got some, I think they're actually right here. <clears throat> got some motion picture effects nightshades rubber mask paint by uh Mabry Monsters. Um this isn't obviously the only color that I use, but I got quite quite a bit of that um different different tones and colors uh to to try my first attempt at it. So go ahead and show them. Let's show them what 
the end result was. Now, again, this was a 25th anniversary mask uh, that I removed the shroud from and then uh, painted and then re-shrouded. Let's go ready? ahead and show them. Yep. So there it is, guys. So, I mean, I'm very critical of stuff that I do. So obviously, I, I definitely see a lot of stuff that I could have done better. But I, I'm, I'm happy with the mask and as a whole for especially for a first attempt um i think i could definitely do a lot more of the wrinkles and the lines um it was it's kind of funny when you're when you're painting this sort of thing um you're you're kind of you're doing all these lines and wrinkles and cracks and you kind of find yourself going like oh is that too much it, it, maybe it's too many and you kind of go back and forth while you're painting, like, maybe I shouldn't have this many right here, or maybe I should have, you know, you kind of go back and forth a lot. But I eventually got to a point where I had to stop and just kind of accept it as the way it was. But here it is. So, like I said, uh, I'm I'm happy with it. Um, I'm probably going to paint another one, and we'll probably put a lot more detail into it. Um, but this one was not easy. It took a long time. Uh, a lot of work, especially not knowing what I'm doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. When I paint the second one, if I paint a second one, I'm still not going to know what I'm doing. Uh, but at least I know what I'm getting into. Um, so hopefully I can make the second one look even better. But there is uh, my attempt at a Scream 6 aged ghost face mask using the exact same style of mask that they used. I added the Velcro. I reshrouded it myself no tassels on the hood just like the movie so did uh did what i could to make it as accurate as possible got the super dark eye mesh in there so you can't even see my fingers through there so um yeah just wanted to show you guys that like i said i'm probably gonna paint another one maybe i'll paint a couple more i've got quite a few of those 25th anniversary masks back here behind me that um have the blue dots so like i said perfect perfect mask perfect opportunity to to uh use those masks to make the the ultimate aged mask something to hold us over until fun world's official aged mask is released later this year so all right so that's it guys um i'm thinking we're probably gonna have at least one more video coming your way before scream 6 is released we are officially two weeks out Hey guys, just a quick update on, uh, we were able to tack on to the end of this video, uh, Cinemark recognized the, uh, demand for these popcorn totes, these ghost face popcorn totes, and worked together closely with Fun World, um, RJ understands, you know, the fan demand, and he also understands that, you know, unfortunately a lot of these, uh, popcorn tubs went to scalpers who were trying to sell them for, 60 to 100 dollars on ebay so to curb that we are getting another uh batch of these released you can actually order them from the website right now um all the way until march 17th at midnight is when the pre-sales uh get cut off now they don't ship till august but you guys can get them now for 19.99 i picked up two for myself um so just wanted to give you guys that quick update thanks for watching